when you walk around our, our school, you find that it, it looks in good condition. Our staff has done a great job. The real issues is what's hiding beneath and behind the walls. This is a, a, a piece of the center foundation wall that is just eaten up and it's just fallen right down. Holy cow. There's the condition we're in right there. Holy cow. <laughs> you know, Moffitt has been an interesting campus over time. We've been in this current site for 92 years. Our first building was built in 1921. And, and over those years, it's really been kind of a conglomerate of building on and, and mostly by necessity or when funds were doing. And, and what we're facing really is, is this issue of how we've survived for 90 years is finally coming to an end. None of the um, systems that we have in place in the building, water, sewer, heating, all of those, um, they don't talk to each other. Therefore we have serious problems when it comes to winter time and the heating systems aren't working right um, and we're losing instructional days which is unacceptable. My daughter asked her mom when it was cold this winter, she says, mom can I take a light jacket? And she's like, why do you need a light jacket? And she said, well, my teacher doesn't like me wearing my big heavy one in class. So we, of course, allowed her to bring a, a lighter jacket to wear in class because I know several days that their heat just didn't work. We didn't miss school last year for snow days. We missed school last year, had it canceled, and used our snow days because of problems with our um, well, the pump, and also with the septic system. Kids don't learn well when they're too hot or too cold. They need to be comfortable so they don't have to think about their environment. Uh, the Foundation 1921's building has been what's called a sulfate attack and so uh, the foundation is actually turning to powder due to crystals and salts that are in the ground. In fact we went down there um, and had a special firm come and test it and drill cores into the center of these foundation, these stem walls, to find out how so much support is there. And examples that we found is in some areas we had 21 inch walls that are now down to six to eight inches because they've deteriorated so far. Oh, I'm definitely working in an environment that sewer gas slash methane gas is coming into the, to the environment that also the kids have to use the facilities and they're, they're uh, walking right into it. <laughs> We had an instance last school year where one of our staff was taken to the hospital with methane poisoning because what we were getting is these pockets of methane backing up in the old corroded pipes and then causing it to flow back in to the 1950s gym. I was lightheaded and sick and I didn't know what was wrong and they ended up saying that it was just overdose of methane gas. If we want our kids to be competitive in the world today. We need the same opportunities here as the students in the metro area. Our children are going into a different world and um, I believe that um, in addition to fixing or replacing the uh, physical problems we have at the school, uh, I feel that we can put together a, um, an environment for our children so that they can move into this new period of time where they are really going to have to know things that we don't even know. Technology-wise, it would be great to have a system that I'm not having to haul around on a cart and I can uh, switch over from an overhead to the iPad. Acquiring some outside light and some fresh air would be absolutely huge. You walk into some of the classrooms now, you either can't open the windows or you can't open the windows, but it fills you full of dust because the wind's blowing. A new school building would tell our kids that we do value them and their education. What I would like to tell our children is that they, that they are everything to us and that we as the leaders of this community have committed to their futures and their futures involve colors and they involve care and they involve kindness and they involve learning. You know, I think what we've seen at Moffitt in the Moffitt School is that it, it really is a family feel and it's about providing that safe environment for kids and what we want to do is continue to make sure that the teachers and our students have a safe environment in which they can work and educate students. There's a part of me that has a real emotional tie to these rooms in this building and, and where they walked and, and the times that we had together in class, not just my own kids, but other children. So there's 
a part of that that I'm, I would miss with a new building, but I, I, I've come to the sense that I think it's time to move on.